All right, I'm gonna show you three simple ways to scrape Instagram for emails and phone numbers. I'm gonna start off with something basic and free. It's a tool called IG Grow Man. You might've already heard about this before. It's a very simple tool to use. It's just a Chrome extension that you want to download onto your Chrome browser. Using this tool, you can scrape a couple different ways. Followers, following, hashtag, and location. Now you're not really ever gonna use the following function, but you can use the followers function. Let's just say there's another influencer that targets the same audience that you target, and you wanna to try to reach out to all their followers. You can put in their username and it'll scrape the followers of that influence. Hashtags is another very useful one. You can search real estate agent as a hashtag and scrape the most recent posts from that hashtag. Now you can also scrape from location, but you cannot scrape from a keyword and a location. For example, we can scrape from Miami, Florida, the most recent posts within Miami, Florida, but we cannot scrape real estate agents in Miami, Florida. So that's the only issue. If you want to scrape by a hashtag, it won't let you do by a certain country or a certain city or anything like that. But there is a way to still filter down to just the United States and I'll show you how to do that. So once you click go, it'll start scraping profiles for you one by one, usually one every five to 10 seconds. And once you have all the results you want, you can either copy them all or you can save them to an Excel file. But you wanna be careful sometimes when you're using this tool, you don't wanna to do too many because it is using your personal Instagram account. So obviously you can log into different accounts, but it's using that account to actually scrape this data. So Instagram sometimes can give you a warning if you start scraping too many. Now, as you can see within this data, we have a country code column. So the country code can tell us what country they're from if they have a phone number. Now, if they don't have a phone number, you can't really tell what country they're in, but we can do country code one, which means they're in either the US or Canada. Now it's only gonna pull phone numbers, emails if it's public on that account. And so if you have a business page, usually they ask you to add a phone number and email so people can reach out to you. And that's what's scraping. It's not gonna scrape it if you have a private page or if you have a personal page where your phone number isn't on there at all. It's not gonna be able to scrape emails and phone numbers from those. Okay, now the second strategy is using a tool called igleads.io. It's anywhere between $59 to $150 a month. And the $59 per month plan gets you about 10,000 emails and phone numbers. Now there is a few issues with this tool, but there also are some benefits that might work for you. This tool has a whole bunch of different scraping options, but it has two scraping options for Instagram. One is scraping from hashtag and one is scraping from an Instagram keyword. Now I tested both. I tried this at midnight last night. I tried scraping from an Instagram hashtag, hashtag marketing, and it took forever to get. So I just woke up the next morning and it was finally done and it took about 10 hours. So it was done about 10 a.m. this morning. But I also did it again and I did it today and I did it three times and it took maybe 10, 15 minutes to scrape a list. So sometimes it takes longer than others. I also requested uh, 3,000 leads on all the lists that I requested, but usually every single time it only got me 1,000 leads every time. Now the thing I don't like about this tool is that it's only really gonna give you Gmails, Hotmails, and AOL emails. And obviously there's a ton of business emails and the only reason it's gonna give you Gmail, Hotmail, AOL is because I think all it's doing is it's just searching for those keywords, searching for keyword Gmail. And then it's finding anything with that keyword Gmail and then it's just giving you that email right there. And so it can't find business emails within the search. And I noticed this for some of the other tools. So I tried Facebook business page scraping and it did pull me phone numbers and emails, but again, only Hotmail, Yahoo, Gmail emails. Now also scraping from the keyword search on Instagram, it didn't really work. I looked up business coach and almost nobody that was in there was a business coach or had the keyword business coach. So I'm not really sure where it's pulling that data, but from the hashtag, it kind of did work. I did hashtag real estate agent and it got me a pretty decent real estate agents. And also it lets you search within just the United States. All right, the last one that you probably have never thought of is actually D7 Lead Finder. D7 Lead Finder is a pretty popular tool. It's about $40 a month, but I can look up a keyword in a certain location. So I can look up real estate agents in Miami, Florida, and it gives you a ton of different data. It does not give you first name, last name, but it does give you the business name, the email, the phone number, an Instagram link, a Facebook link, a LinkedIn link, and a ton of other different things. And so if you just wanna find real estate agents in Miami, Florida, we can look it up on D7 Lead Finder, find all the Instagram profiles, and then reach out to them directly. Now, what I don't like about this tool is that sometimes the data is a little inaccurate. So sometimes it'll give me a real estate brokerage rather than an agent or maybe an insurance agent, right? So something that might be somewhat maybe related or have the same keywords, but not actually the same thing. But for the most part, it does give you a ton of what you're looking for. And so you just kind of have to filter through. But that's it, that's three different ways of scraping Instagram. If you want my system on how I get clients through Instagram, you can watch my next video on how I get clients through Instagram called Outreach. And if you want a system to consistently get 120 sales calls per month, you can book a call directly with me below. I love you, talk to you soon.